Right, so we have the latest and greatest from 2005 body composition machine right here, the Tanita TBF300A. Uh, the way body composition using that is going to work, it uses an electrical signal to go through you and it kind of measures the strength to put that uh, simply, um, probably incorrectly. But you're measuring the impedance as it goes from one point to another and travels through your body. And by correlating that impedance with DEXA scans, which is x-rays that are pretty accurate in determining what your actual body composition versus fat, bone, muscle, etc. is, it correlates the impedance that it's measuring on here with similar uh, body comp numbers people who are your same age, height, weight, and you can come to a reasonable uh, number of what your actual body composition is. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get this a little bit wet and I'm going to wipe it off. It doesn't have to be soaking wet, it just needs to clean off any oils from the previous person, things like that. I want to be able to take off my shoes and my socks because I need direct contact with that. So I may want to wipe off the bottom of my feet as well. But before I actually stand on, we're going to go over how I work this here. So good thing is just turn it off and on again. Give it a second. You're going to see it blinking and you're going to see an arrow kind of blinking next to the thing that you want. We're doing clothes right now. So let's say I have one and a half pounds of clothes on. The next cue is going to be male, female, athletic or not. These are really arbitrary numbers. Again, this data set is nearly 20 years old at this point. So we need to take these with a grain of salt, whether you're athletic or standard. Typically, if somebody's working out four to five days a week, I'll put them in the athletic. If they're not, I'll put them in the standard. The standard is gonna give me more information, so that's what I'm gonna use right now. Now, I next you're gonna see it go to the age. Okay, so I'm gonna put my age in here and now I'm going to go to the height is next. And again, the reason why you want to do this is because it's going to correlate all these numbers with this data set that they have of people who are your similar age, height, and weight. I'm going to take my socks off. I'm going to stand on here and I want to make sure there's four little buttons on there. I'm going to make sure, wait a minute. I'm going to make sure that my heels and my feet are touching that. I'm going to Stand up nice and tall. Whatever time of day I'm taking this, pre or post workout, it doesn't matter. Again, because this is not a very specific tool. So I just wanna make sure that I'm taking it at the same time. If I'm always taking it in the morning, I always wanna take it in the morning. If I'm taking it in the afternoon, I wanna take it there. If I'm taking pre-workout, I wanna take it pre-workout, post, etc. Because uh, hydration, food in your stomach, sleep, different things like that are going to affect the impedance number. So this is going to print out, you're going to get a little sheet, and on that sheet you're going to see all of these things that are on here. Your weight is going to be on there, your BMI, your fat percentage, your BMR, which is basal metabolic rate, that's going to be your cal caloric intake if you're just be sitting around. Your impedance level is there, so I'm at 416 right now is really arbitrary uh, when we cross that among different individuals. What I'm looking for is a data set for myself, around 20 measurements of this, and I should have a pretty good idea of what my normal impedance level is. I'm gonna track that impedance level so I can correlate it with my body composition and see what changes have been made. Because if I have similar impedance numbers, and different body composition numbers, that's a good indicator that something has changed. There you go, that's pretty much it. Hopefully that's helpful.